I joined Workers' World because liberal campus activist endeavors have gotten the working class nowhere. As a young person, I'm keenly aware that capitalism holds no hope for us. When my parents went to college in the late 70s, college was the gateway to a good middle class job. Now, a degree brings debt and despair with it and, become, and has become as useful as the napkins many young people in our class sweep off the floor at our minimum wage jobs. I came to the party having been involved in anti-racist, anti-police brutality, youth empowerment, education justice work. I was very liberal during college. Um, organi organizations that myself and other campus organizers tried to form fell apart year after year. In 2014, we held die-ins and, and marches on campus after the non-indictment of Darren Wilson for the murder of Mike Brown. University administration meetings we had following these actions yielded no results. Be because, of course, the university had no intentions of addressing our one demand that Westchester address and resolve the blatant white supremacy uh, among its students and administrators. In 2015, this struggle lost momentum, and some of our core members defected to indulge um, other petty bourgeois interests, such as Greek life. In 2016, in the fall, we campaigned against rape culture and on, on campus after um, a few weekends where there were several alerts sent out in a row on campus about assaults that had taken place on, on our college campus. I'm sorry, I lost my place. And in 2017, the spring, we fought for 15 for all university workers who made below minimum wage many of whom were black and brown student workers. We understood that workers were paid unfairly, but we did not understand that workers' wages were stolen, our labor exploited, and that we are left stuck in shitty jobs, much like serfs were stuck to the land of their landlords. If we quit or leave the land, we may very well starve to death. I joined the party because I knew that all these past endeavors failed because we had missed the point. White supremacy and capitalism cannot be fought if we see all these problems, police violence, sexual assault, poverty, as separate, as if the root of these problems isn't capitalism. We, Workers' World, know that police are a tool of the government, and the government is a tool of the state to suppress the working class. We know that women's oppression is rooted in capitalism, oh, excuse me, is rooted in the acquisition of private property and the reproduction of workers for the next generation of the ruling class. We know that raising wages is reform. It will be revolutionary to abolish the wage system altogether because it is a form of slavery. <laughs> I joined Workers World Party because I wanted something more than vague hope after being really dis disillusioned by failing to force change at Westchester. Marxism-Leninism, among many things, has given all of us revolutionary optimism. We know that our class will win because we have to. Thank you.